Okay, we've talked about the East Coast. We've talked about the West Coast. Let's come back to the center of our continent. Um, We've talked about the epicontinental seas that occurred during the Mesozoic era, and I want to focus on one specific epicontinental sea that formed the Sundance Sea. This one um, formed during the Middle Jurassic, so right in the middle of the Mesozoic era. And during this time, the entire west central part of the continent was totally covered by a seaway that extended all the way down to Utah coming out of Canada. Um, the deposits of the Sundance Sea were mainly sands and silts, right, typical of what you would get from a shallow sea, and it's often very common to find marine reptiles here, right, so, uh, and other marine fossils like this starfish shown here. Eventually, uh, the Sundance Sea regressed as sea levels fell, and it left behind this wet, swampy plain with a lot of rivers flowing through it. And um, during this time, the Morrison Formation was created. So this was a rock formation that extended across millions of square kilometers across the American West, um, created during uh, a swampy post epicontinental sea period. And because of that swampiness, a lot of terrestrial fossils were preserved, including more than 70 dinosaur species that were recovered from the floodplain deposits of the Morrison Formation, right? So this is one of the reasons why the West or the, the, the Midwest is a huge place for fossil hunters, specifically dinosaur fossil hunters to go explore.